Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. I'm going to go through one more question that the Lord asked, and He asked this in Matthew 4 through uh, 29, 31. And this is when He's out in, in the boat, and He says, Why do you doubt the storm comes up? You see, the disciples sometimes just didn't get it. They doubted. They feared. But they just saw God do wonderful miracles. He just fed with two loaves and fishes, 4,000 people. He raised the sick, he healed. I mean, he, he raised the dead, he healed the sick. He did so much it right in front of them, but yet they still went into fear and they still doubted. So his question to his own disciples, and we have to ask this too, why do you doubt? You see, when fear comes up, we start doubting. You see, and then <clears throat> as he's on the boat, they're scared to death because they think it's a ghost. One person, one disciple said, if it is you, Peter, and he didn't say, it, is it you, Lord? He said, if it is you. Well, that was a big question right there. If it's you, call me. And Jesus was so sweet. He said, he called him to walk on water. And we know Peter went out there and tried his best, but he was focused on too much of the waves, too much of the storm and doubting and fearing too much that he didn't quite make it on the water like he did. He turned, somehow or another, the fear and doubt turns what we know upside down. And we don't mean it to, but when we get fear and doubt, everything you know turns upside down. You see, he could not focus on the one who called him out to the water because he was so afraid and he doubted. I don't know what happens in our life where we start fearing and doubting, knowing God, knowing His Word, knowing He's for you, knowing He gives you strength and encouragement. But things come around us and the storm gets big and we don't know what to do, so we go straight into fear and doubt. But I want you to know God is big enough to calm any storm in your life and He's surely big enough to calm any waves that come around you for your life. Amen and amen. So next time you walk through circumstances and you feel like you're coming apart and you fear and start doubting, remember who God is in your life and that he can calm that storm in you. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you if you're going through fear because you're sick in your body and you're hurting. Let me pray and we'll ask God to heal your body right where you sit right there today. In Jesus' name. Lord God, I just praise you and worship you that I know you're my healer. And this is the year for miracle signs and wonders. And I'm asking you, Lord God, to heal this body. And you said in James, ask. You may not get ask, you will receive. So, Lord God, we are thanking you that we receive healing in this body. I'm receiving healing for eyes in the name of Jesus. I'm receiving healing for, for there's somebody who's got something wrong with their legs and their muscles in their legs. So, Lord God, I'm ask you to heal the, the pain in their legs and their muscles and their ligaments in their thighs and in their legs and feet. I thank you, Lord God, that they can stand up and walk and run and not be weary. We thank you, Lord God, that energy comes into people with low energy. I command cancer to leave the body in the name of Jesus. I command, Lord God, the lungs to be full of air and breathe, that that virus has lost its death in you for, for sickness and death, loses its sting for sickness and death. I thank you, Lord God, that you are a healer and you raise us up to be healed. You raise us up, Lord God, so we could walk on water. You raise us up with strength and encouragement to walk through any storm and to walk through healing for our body. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine day. And I'll see you tomorrow.